Hello students, I am Chalma Reddy, Mathematics faculty. In previous class, we have discussed how to find the area between the curves concept and shortcut formulas. And uh, in level one, we are completed four problems. Now this is fifth problem. The area bounded by tangent, normal, and x axis at P2, comma 4 to the curve y is equal to x square is. This is the question. So generally, you know that y is equal to x square means how to draw the curve. That is, x square is equal to 4ay only. So just I am drawing the diagram x square is equal to 4ay this is the curve this is the curve now draw the tangent draw the tangent at particular point so here i am drawing the tangent at this point and uh, this is normal normal and here tangent normal x axis those three form a triangle so this is a triangle required area shaded area is triangle okay how to find those area so here already shortcut formula is there 1 by 2 y1 square into m plus 1 by m. What is m here? m is slope of tangent. How to find y is equal to x square? Do the differentiation one time. dy by dx. That is equal to 2x. Now, slope of the tangent m is equal to dy by dx at point p what is the point here 2 comma 4 substitute x value is 2 there is x1 no? 2 into 2 4 m value is 4 and p point you have to think the point is x1 comma y1 2 comma 4 now required area required area you shortcut formula that is half y1 square mod m plus 1 by m. Students observe here 1 by 2 y1 square. y value is 4. y1 square means it is going to 16 modulus. m is 4. 4 plus 1 by 4. Now take LCM. Numerator will come 16 into 17. Denominator will come 2 into 4. See, 2 4s are 8, 8 2s are 16, 17 2s are 34. This answer. Which option is correct? First option. Now, see the sixth question. The area bounded by the x axis and the curve y is equal to 4x minus x square minus 3 in square units. So what is the shortcut method here? a is equal to delta power 3 by 2 divided by 6 a square. What is delta? discriminant here quadratic equation given y is equal to minus x square plus 4x minus 3 so here students observe a value is minus 1 b value is 4 and c value is minus 3 what is delta b square minus 4 is b square means 16 minus 4 a c 
Overall, observe this. Sixteen minus twelve. That is four. Substitute here. Four means we can write two square. Two square whole power three by two. Three by two divided by six. A square. A value is minus one. Minus one whole square. Observe this. Square two to cancel two cube eight eight by six, that is four by three. This is the required area. The area of the region between the curves y is equal to four x square, and the line y is equal to six x minus two. Square units. First of all, y is equal to four x square. Y is equal to four x square means that is x square is equal to four a y like that only now. Draw the diagram. X square is equal to four a y means this is. And students, you know very well. What is y is equal to x line? This is y is equal to x, or y is equal to k x. Here y is equal to six x minus two. Where we have to draw below the line, below the line. So approximately, I am drawing. Not this exactly. This is the line. This is the Line. Now this is eliminated. So, what is the required area? See, this part is the required area. So we need to find point of intersections. We need to find point of intersections. Then automatically we get which is upper curve, which is lower curve. So you found the original method or shortcut method? Shortcut method means here formula is there, so I am going to general method. How to solve this? Y is equal to four x square, and y is equal to six x minus two. So four x square is equal to six x minus two. I am solving these two curves. 2x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 0. Split into factors. 2x square minus 2x minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. 2x common here you will get x minus 1. Minus 1 common x minus 1 is equal to 0. So 2x minus 1. And x minus one is equal to zero. Finally, what are the x values? One is one by two. Another one is one. So required area A is equal to integration one by two to one. Here observe that which is upper curve, which is lower curve. Line is the upper curve. Six x minus two. Minus lower curve parabola four x square. If you are getting doubt, take any curve upper or lower. If you are getting negative, take modulus. Enough. Now solve this. Apply the integration. X integration x dx x square by two now. So six x square by two minus two x minus 4x cube by 3. Limit 1 by 2 to 1. Students simplify this. We get answer. Now calculate this. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 minus 4 by 3. Minus here LCM is 12. 12 here we'll get. Nine minus twelve 
minus 2. This is minus 1 by 3. Here, minus 12 minus 2 minus 14. 9 minus 14 minus 5. That is plus 5. 5 by 12. Again, take the LCM. 12 is the LCM. 3 4 sir, plus 5. That is equal to 1. 1 by 12. Second option is correct. Here, I am explained general method. If you want shortcut method, use this formula. How to use shortcut, shortcut method C? Y is equal to AX square plus BX plus C. So Y is equal to 4X square given. In this case, we can take A value is 4. A value is 4. Enough. Next, Y is equal to MX plus K. Y is equal to 6X minus 2. So here, M is equal to 6 and K value minus 2. These all values substitute here and B also 0, C also 0. Substitute in that formula. Then find the discriminant. Then find the discriminant in the quadratic, in this quadratic equation. Then apply the formula delta power 3 by 2 by 6a square. So this is also take more than one minute. Okay, students. Right. If you want the uh, next problem, I will explain shortcut method. Uh, students observe that eighth question. The area bounded by the parabola x is equal to y square and the line y is equal to x minus 6. So this is also same model. But uh, y square is equal to 4ax. How to draw the diagram? So you want gen, I am explaining first in general method. So first here, write the curves. First curve is x is equal to y square. Second curve is y is equal to x minus 6. This is we can write x is equal to y plus 6. By solving both, y square is equal to y plus 6. Now y square minus y minus 6 is equal to 0. Students, tell me what are the factors? <clears throat> uh, y square minus 3y plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0. So I am writing directly here, y minus 3 into y plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. So finally, we are getting y values 3 comma minus 2. Now draw the diagram. This is coordinate system x and y axis x and y axis. Now x is equal to y square. y square is equal to 4ax. You know the curve. This is a parabola. And uh, y is equal to x minus 6. So where we can expect students? So I'm going to expect here. This is. Because already yesterday I explained some graphs. This is y is equal to x. Now upwards, you will get y is equal to x plus 2. Downwards, y is equal to x minus 2. Are you understood how I am drawing the graph? Okay. Now, this is the required area. This is the required area. Here observe that we got the y values. These are the limits. So y means this is, see, this point, this point, y is equal to 3. And this is y is equal to minus 2. Here, how to find the area? See, required area, a is equal to limits. 
minus 2 to 3. So here I am taking the limits are in y values. The function also we want to take in terms of y only. What is the upper curve? Straight line is the upper curve. This is the straight line. So y plus 6 minus lower curve. This is the curve parabola y square. Students simplify this, you will get dy. So y integration, y square by 2 plus 6y minus y cube divided by 3 limit minus 2 to 3. Students simplify this, substitute upper limit 9 by 2 plus 18 minus 3 cube by 3. So 3, 1, 3 cancel, we get 3 square. 3 square means 9. This is upper limit, minus, lower limit. Here this is minus 2, remember it. Minus 2 whole square, 4, 4 by 2, 2, minus 12. Minus 2 whole cube, minus 8. Already minus is there, plus 8 by 3. Now, how to do the simplification? 9 by 2, 18 minus 9 plus 9, minus 2 minus 12, minus 10, plus 6 by 3, 6 by 3. Students, 2 nines are 18, 18 plus 9, 27 by 2, minus, minus 30, plus 6, minus 24 by 3. Already minus is there, plus 24 by 3. LCM is 6. 3 into 27. 3 7s are 21, 81. Plus 2 24s are 48. Total 129 divided by 6. One sees options. There is no 129. Somewhere we have done mistake. One second. So this is 8 by 3 now. So I am written 6 by 3. There is a mistake. So here will come uh, 22 minus 30. Let's say 22. So this is 44. Now this is 125 by 6. Students, which option is correct? Second option is correct. 